Okay, this is Eric Windheim, building biologist and electromagnetic radiation specialist. We're in a lovely house up in the foothills. Everybody would like to live in a surroundings like this. It's totally beautiful. <clears throat> and the family has a variable speed heat pump called a mini split. This one happens to be a Mitsubishi manufacturer. And we're seeing the normal 60 cycle line right here. And then we're seeing the red dirty electricity high frequency voltage transients. We've got over a volt peak to peak. I could spend more time and zero that in. But we're getting a lot of spikes under 10,000 cycles per second, at 20,000 cycles per second, at 26,000 cycles per second, and a bunch out here between 60 and 70. <clears throat> and the Stetzer meter is showing about 1,100 you can see the Stetzer meter there, it's showing about 1100. And to show you that this is related to the uh, mini split, we're going to turn the mini split off right now. Um, can, can you hit the kill switch on that? And we're going to see what disappears. Hopefully it'll ramp down pretty quick, but we want it for fast shutdown. Ah, okay, so the mini split is off. Okay, so now we're down to 170 instead of 1100. This is the base level we found when we moved on to the property this morning. And this is most like a, a dimmer switch here. So the moral of the story is these energy efficient mini splits, they may save you some money. The question is, will they save enough to pay for the health damage they cause? Thank you very much.